compounds contain chiral centers. A chiral center is an atom that has four different groups and most of the time the atom is carbon. So basically we are looking for carbons that have four different groups and if we find them those are chiral centers. Let's start with A. 2-chloropentane. Pent means five carbons. So let's show five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Two chloro means there is a chlorine on the second carbon. Does this molecule have any chiral centers? First, we can go ahead and show hydrogens. And every carbon wants to have four bonds. So if this carbon, for example, has one bond and it wants to have four, that means three hydrogens are not shown. So I'm going to show hydrogens in purple. This carbon will have three hydrogens that were not shown. I'm showing them here. This carbon has one, two, three bonds, and it wants to have four again. So it needs to have one hydrogen. Let's go to the next one. This one has two hydrogens. This one has two hydrogens. And this one has three hydrogens. Carbons that have two or three hydrogens cannot be chiral centers because they don't have four different groups. Having two or three hydrogens means they have two or three of the same identical groups. So we can eliminate this carbon, this carbon, this, and this, leaving us with this carbon. This carbon is connected to chlorine, hydrogen. On the left, it has one carbon, a methyl group. And on the right, it has one, two, three carbons, which is different. So it has four different groups, and therefore it is a chiral center. So A, th there is a chiral center in 2-chloropentane. Let's go to B. 3-chloropentane. So again, we draw a pentane molecule, number it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 3-chlorine means there is a chlorine here. I'm going to again show all the hydrogens. I'm just going to draw the lines to make it quicker and again any carbon that has two or three hydrogens can be disregarded it cannot be a chiral center because it will not have four different substituents so the only carbon that we would be looking at is this one it has a hydrogen a chlorine on the left it has one two carbons and on the right it has two carbons the left and the right are the same Therefore, this carbon is not chiral, and this molecule does not have any chiral centers. Let's go ahead and do C. 3-chloro-1-pentene. Ene means there is a double bond. Pent, again, is five carbons. So I draw five carbons, number them. 1-pentene means on the first carbon, there is a double bond. So I'm going to show a double bond here. 3 chloro means there is a chlorine here. And again, I'm going to look at each carbon. This one has two bonds, and every carbon wants to have four bonds, so that means two hydrogens here were not shown. There is one hydrogen here, one here, two here, and three here. Carbons on the double bond, like this carbon, or this carbon, they will not be chiral centers because they're not connected to four different groups. So we can disregard these two. This one has two hydrogens, can't be it. This one has three hydrogens, can't be it. So we're looking at the carbon that has the chlorine group on. This carbon has one hydrogen, a chlorine. On the left, it has two carbons, and on the right, it has two carbons as well. But on the left, there is a double bond, which is making this group different. So this carbon has four different groups. Chlorine, hydrogen, carbon, double bond, carbon on the left, and carbon, single, single bond, carbon on the right. Therefore, this is a chiral center. And let's go to the final one. We have 1,2-dichloropropane. Prop means three carbons. 1, 2... 3. 1, 2, so on my carbon 1, I have chloro, which is chlorine, and 2. On my carbon 2, I have a chlorine group also. Let's show the hydrogens. 
This carbon has two bonds, so it needs two more because it wants to have four. So two hydrogens here, one hydrogen here. And I didn't show, I didn't write out the hydrogens just to save time, but these are all hydrogens, all of my lines, purple lines. And let's look at this one. This one has three. Next. This we can disregard because it has three hydrogens. This has two hydrogens. Let's look at this one. It has chlorine. This carbon has chlorine, hydrogen. On the left, it has carbon that's connected to a chlorine. On the right, it just has a carbon, methyl group, CH3. Is it different? Yes. So this carbon must be a chiral carbon or chiral center as well because it's connected to four different groups, a chlorine, a hydrogen, a carbon with a chlorine, and a methyl group. This is Maya Lochi, and I really hope that you found this lesson helpful.